Hi everyone, myself Della Ruben and I am Junior Embryologist at Avira Fertility Center, Hyatt City Branch. So today I will be showing you all our Andrology and Embryology lab and the procedure we perform in our lab. So this is our Andrology lab. You can see the laminar airflow, digital warmer, compound microscope and the centrifuge. So in our Andrology lab, we mainly perform the basic cement test that is semen analysis which help us to find the count motility morphology of the semen sample and other than semen analysis perform the processing of the intrauterine insemination that is IUI and sperm freezing for the patients who are undergoing infertility treatments cancer patients or patients who are willing to donate the semen for the infertile couples so in the laminar airflow uh, it is incorporated with HEPA filter, uh, which will provide as a dust free environment for the workstation. You can see a warmer, which will help us to liquefy and maintain the temperature of the uh, salmon sample that is 37 degrees Celsius. And uh, you can see a compound microscope, uh, which will help us to do the salmon analysis. Uh, which will help us to know the count of the semen sample, uh, morphology, motility, everything we observe through the compound microscope. And uh, you can see a centrifuge, uh, which will be used for the processing of the semen sample. Mainly, we use this uh, centrifuge during the IUI processing. We process the semen sample with the density gradient medium. Now you can see the cryocans and these cryocans are filled with liquid nitrogen. The temperature of liquid nitrogen is minus 196 degrees Celsius. So uh, after freezing the salmon sample or oocyte or um, embryos, we store the salmon sample or oocytes or embryos in these cryocans. So adjacent to the embryology lab, we have IVF OT where we conduct the oocyte pickup under anesthesia and we also perform fresh and frozen embryo transfers TESA that is testicular epididymal uh, sperm aspiration or percutaneous sperm aspiration also being conducted here so next is our embryology lab where you can see a lamina airflow uh, which is incorporated with a HEPA filter and which will provide us a dust free environment for the workstation and in the laminar airflow, you can see a stereosome microscope, which we mainly use for the screening of the follicular fluid. And this follicular fluid are obtained during the oocyte pickup. During the screening, we will pick up the oocytes and we will uh, keep it in the incubator for uh, one to two hours for further culturing. So after picking up the oocyte from the follicular fluid, we keep it in the hair cell for two hours for culturing. Later, we we'll go for the denudation. In denudation, uh, we will be using the Hylase enzyme and we will perform it under the stereosome microscope. It helps us to remove the cumulus cells uh, around the oocyte. So this is the micro manipulator in our embryology lab, which help us to do the ICSI, that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. So as I told earlier, after denuding the oocyte, we will check the maturity of the oocyte, whether it is M2 oocyte or M1 or GV. This M2 and M1 oocyte, with the help of the micro manipulator, we inject each oocyte with single sperm. This process is known as ICSI. After the ICSI procedure, we will be culturing the oocyte injected with the sperm in the incubators. This is our uh, mink incubator and this is our hair cell. Both incubators uh, use for culturing the embryos till day 3 or day 5. So after culturing the embryos in the incubator till day 3 or day 5, we either perform fresh embryo transfer on day 3 or day 5. Otherwise, we will cryopreserve the day 3 or day 5 embryo using the cryoprotectant and we will plan for the frozen embryo transfer in future. So apart from all these procedures, we also perform embryo biopsy for the genetic studies that is uh, PGS or PGT 
and we also uh, perform laser assisted hatching of the blastocysts and uh, in vitro maturation of the oocytes. Thank you all for listening. I hope you all understood what I have explained. Have a great day.